this formation is the most optimal formation of all time. And it got me 108 AFK level progression in one go. This is without leveling up my heroes, upgrading their equipment, or even ascending them in between the fights. This is just pure straight battle from levels 1 to 94 stages and few minor tweaks in formation from level 96 to 108. And what's even crazy is that the enemies are up to 20 levels higher than my team. You can try this formation yourself to get most out of your AFK level progression battles. So without further ado, let's proceed with the video. Hello everyone, I'm Kathy and welcome to another AFK Tips and Guide video. Before we proceed, I'd like you to know that AFK Journey is now one of my favorite games to spend time with since I am pretty much a busy guy. And I love how the developers made the design of the games intricate and detailed for you and me. And with that, it is my mission to make more fun content for you guys. Whether it be tips, guides, main stories, progression showcase, hero reviews, and so much more. And since you came here, it would mean so much to me if you drop a like and subscribe. It's free and it will give me more passion to continue making more AFK Journey content for you. Right now, Florabel banner is up and we will be making a detailed review on her pretty soon. So stay tuned for when the video comes out. Alright, thank you and let's proceed. To start with, this is my team composition. My tank is Lucius, but you can pick any tank you want. May it be Thorin or Brutus, as long as the tank has a lot of HP. I just happened to pick Lucius since he is currently my strongest tank in the game, and he can provide shield buff to the whole team. I really don't think that you needed more than one tank. I have my two long-ranged heavy hitters, my level 150 Supreme Plus Vala with plus 9 equipment. She is pretty ridiculous by the way, this is because of her insane crit damage. And my level 150 Supreme Brian with plus 5 equipment. Now that he has plus 5 equipment, Brian has more sustain as he can block Fatal Blow, become invincible for a few seconds while restoring his health. He is pretty neat for a marksman. Then I have my two reliable level 150 mythic support, Smokey and Murky and Rowan, who has the energy generation ability unlocked, and of course, a way to provide the healing for my team. From this formation and team composition, I prioritize sustain and provided protection for my heavy hitters to kill all the enemies. And since right now, I needed immediate protection from my tank, I decided to go for the iron wall artifact. Now here is my formation. One tank in front, two heavy hitters on the side, and Smokey goes in the middle and Rowan at the back of Vala. I left a spot here so that Agro will go to the tank. Afterwards, I confidently proceeded to auto battle. If you want to check out the full battle progression, I will have a separate video on this without cuts and edits. I won't include it here since it's about 48 minutes long. And after long battles, the results are pretty outstanding. I got 94 victories. And from these battles, I can see that Vala shines the most. She always averages 3 to 5 kills per battle. Now, if you want to check out why Supreme plus Vala is worth it, you can check out my separate video here. Moving forward, on level 95, I can observe that my tank dies quickly. So I decided to move him one tile backwards. And that's it. We proceeded to the battle. This got me 5 level victories from 645 to 650. This is already 100 levels. Then I decided to see if I could still manage to get few more victories. What I did now is I moved Brian forward, then Rowan to the opposite side. This final tweak got me 8 victories. This is a pretty insane run, I should say. Then I ended the run on level 659. And right now, it's collection time. That's about it guys, if you reached this part of the video, thank you so much for tuning in. You guys are the sole reason why I make these kinds of videos. So stay tuned to my Florabel detailed review coming this weekend. And by the way, I have a quick video about Holliston coins and affinity items, so you can check them out by clicking the videos to your left and right. Alright, I shall see you on my next episode. Peace!